Hey, how you doing? Can't wait to, for the Daytona 500 to start. Amped and jacked about that bad boy. Can't wait to watch my boy Dale Jr. win. Got 10 restricted plate races already. Gonna go for number 11 today. Definitely in favor to do it. Can't wait. My picks for this Daytona 500 are Dale Jr. first, Austin Dillon second, third will be Jimmy Johnson, and fourth will be Denny Hamlin. I know it's kind of weird rooting for a Toyota. I can't really stand them in NASCAR. You know, I had no problem with the drivers. I had a problem with the manufacturer. I like to keep it original. You know, the good old days. You know, back when, you know, there were good drivers. Where people drove the car themselves. Nowadays, I mean, I saw this thing with a digital dash. That was crazy. Don't even have a speedometer on it. Or a fuel gauge. You know, one would think they would have done that by now. Said they got to depend on someone say, hey, you need to watch fuel. Well, hey, if you put a fuel gauge in there and it says, on oh, empty, guess what? That means you're running out of gas. Man. They'll get to it soon. Well, anyway. A couple other opinions I have. Danica Patrick. That guy needs to get out of NASCAR. That dude has a thicker must mustache than I do. And that's saying something. And another thing, what's the Martin Truex driving a Toyota now anyway? He was doing successful in Chevrolet. <sighs> Boy. And another thing, only 40 cars, not 43. Now granted, yeah, you know, maybe some of those cars don't have a chance. But then again, I'll keep it original. Keep the fans happy. Keep the fans that have been there for day one. Oh, man. Well, anyway, I want you all to check me out afterwards. After the race, I will do my commentary after race, which will be a lot more lively. Because I'll be a lot more either happy, which I hope for, for Dale Jr. winning, or sad because someone screwed him. And God help the world if a Toyota wins. Thank you.